it's worth considering. Yeah, that's it's definitely worth considering. Um, all right. So first order of business is to go ahead and use. Where is it? I know it's here. Is it in medicine? It is in medicine. Let's go ahead and use this light flute on Togetic. Can we evolve Shadow Togek Togetic into Togekiss while in shadow form? How far are we anyways? I think we're pretty close to the end. I think this, this area coming up should be like Victory Road or something like that. Though I would like to see if we can just see the design of Shadow Togekiss. I doubt we'll be able to, but maybe we can. Why am I going through my... Yeah, we're unable to. Unfortunately. <laughs> that would be amazing though if we could. Alright. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Oh, I was gonna go ahead... Well, yeah. We'll give the lucky egg to Togetic. So we can get more experience. Um, oh, and I want to shop real quick. There was a few things, a few things I want to do. Um, first of which, I don't know why I'm doing this in this order, but I am. <laughs> but I am. Um, and we can go ahead and is this the room? Well, that's not. We will be back here. That's not the room I wanted to go into. I think I wanted to do this. Um, because we have money now. We've got money. So we can go ahead and get some optimal natures on our Pokemon. I think Luke's nature is pretty good right now. Mike MC's nine's mate nature is not very good. Um, I'd like to give us get us an adamant nature so we want one adamant one adamant probably one one adamant I'm gonna guess this one should be timid so adamant timid this one's already got it this one's already got it and togetic does not have a nature right now Okay, why did I? Well, let's just get. What's what's Toga Kisses? If we go on Smogon, and we look for Toga Kiss, what's Toga Kisses' most ideal ability? I mean, not ability. I don't know the names. Bold, is bold. What does bold do? We'll figure it out. So we want adamant and we want timid for sure. So we want an adamant one. We want a, well, we want a timid one. Okay. What was the bold one? Bold is defense plus defense minus attack. Is Calm the one? Yeah, Calm is the one that we want. Okay. So with that, now we're good with these. Let's go ahead and um, use uh, the Adamant one. I believe on Mike MC9, correct? I want to make sure I'm doing these right. These do cost a lot of money. Yeah, let's make sure the Adamant one's on Mike MC9. So the adamant one goes on to Mike MC9. Yep. Um, you get a different attack boosting nature for Lucario. See, here's the thing. Um, holy shit! Why do we have so many EVs and IVs into? Okay, wait. We might just make this. We might make this thing physical real quick. Because we already have Meteor Mash. Wait. I might do another Adamant one. Onto Lucario. Okay. 
Because then originally, originally, uh, I think we wanted to make it special, but now it's obviously much more important to make it. Um, yeah, we were gonna give the timid one to Salem. Okay, and then let's get one more adamant one. Wait, did you get this Lucario in the Water Shrine? No, I did not get this Lucario in the Water Shrine. I got this Lucario really early game. Like, really early game. I think on, like, the first route or something like that. go ahead and do that now let's look at our perfect natures let's take a look Ooh, that's good that's good as well I like this I like this a lot I like this a lot okay and then we can go back to this person I swear I caught like three different Lucarios in the water shrine area and all three had 31 IVs in Spadef. That's lucky or interesting, to say the least. Um, let's go ahead and go into Lucario, because we're going to want to fundamentally change Lucario's moveset now. Um, we're going to want to get... Ooh, Power Up Punch might be interesting. And like foreign attack. Oh... Yeah, it doesn't sound like the best one. Okay, let's go ahead and add Swords Dance. Um, over Nasty Plot. And then let's go ahead and... We should be able to teach Close Combat over... Yeah, we should be able to teach Close Combat over um, Aura Sphere and then we'll find another since when does Lucario get Bone Rush? I know I was like there's no way and then actually I think we might t just teach Extreme Speed to this thing because at this point I'm not sure there's another good coverage move that we can get yeah yeah exactly Um, I'm going to miss having the dragon type move, but really that dragon type move was only useful against Kingdra when we didn't have the Garchomp in our team. So we have that. Okay, so now we can go ahead and fly. Oh, wait, I wanted, I want to buy, I wanted to buy like actual items as well. Not just. Okay, I think we basically have our team set. Unless we find, like, a better special defensive Pokemon. Um, how many... Yeah, we literally wasted almost all of our Ultra Jams. So we get some of you. Um, can I get some of you as well? Let's get some more Super Pulse. What does a Destiny not do? Huh. For breeding, I'm sure. Isn't Destiny not used a lot for breeding? In case you don't get Dazzling Gleam, there's a Draining Kiss TM and Hagane. Well, I'm pretty sure we can uh, buy the Dazzling Gleam TR in um, in that one city in, uh, in Izumi. Which I might as well go get one right now. Just cause... And just to make sure that I... I remember, yeah, Dazzling Gleam's the first one. Is there anything else? Earthfire, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt. Here's the thing. When we buy these, we don't know. We don't know <laughs> who's going to be able to learn them and who can't. Okay. 
Calm Mind and Thunderbolt can be good. Who learns Thunderbolt to my team, though? I do agree that Calm Mind, because I think Togekiss can actually learn Calm Mind. Right? There's Calm Mind in here. I swear I just passed it. Yeah, there it is. Togekiss can learn Thunderbolt? No way. Where do you find all of these fan games? I find them on Relic Castle. Relic Castle is uh, the, the forums for... Um, for fan games. I think you can do exclamation point Bushido and it'll take you to the Bushido page which is on Relic Castle. I'm calling BS that this thing can learn Thunderbolt. There's no way. Togekiss also learns Focus Blast if you like missing. I will not be teaching this thing to Focus Blast. If I want it, if I didn't type move it, will be Aura Sphere. <laughs> well, I wasn't able to find it. You know what? I don't care at this point. I'll just waste some money on the Thunderbolt TM. Or TR. Because if anyone else can learn Thunderbolt, that'd be really nice. Really nice. Nice. Well, no one else on my team can learn Thunderbolt as of right now. Okay. Let's actually continue on. We've been streaming for too long to have made almost zero progress. So I will make a stop by in the in the shrine so we can go ahead and purify um so I can go ahead and purify what am I trying to say? Just replicate Cynthia's Togekiss. That that was a nightmare in its own respect. What is Cynthia's Togekiss? Don't go to that shrine. Which shrine do I go to? Which shrine should I go to then? Go to the grass shrine? Yeah, honestly, that's like the closest one, isn't it? Also, if I remember correctly, we can just surf now, which is so much easier. Alright. Do 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 do. Give me these super repels to use, and let's continue on. No, because Sukur. Uh, Sukiro is gonna battle you in Jikon Shrine. I thought that was the shrine that's like right to right of the thing. To the right of the town. Oh, maybe I'm just an idiot though, so. Okay, let's go ahead and purify Togetic. Togetic! Here we are. Five Pokemon regain charm, ancient power, yawn. Wait, where did I get all these experience points from? Where did I get all these experience points from? Please help. <laughs> um, that's a no on after you. Um, double edge. Uh, sure, we'll get rid of charm for double edge. Would I like to give a nickname to Togetic? Yeah, Togetic. I don't know. I'm gonna name this thing Polaris. Um because for some reason like Togepi always feels like a star, right? So we're gonna name it after the North Star. Probably a crappy nickname, but hey, I don't care. Also, let's take a look at this thing level 33. Pogo stick? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. And yeah, this is not the best uh, nature. So can we go ahead and use our 
Where is it? Right here. There we go. Let's also... Um, what was I going to do? Let's also go ahead... Wait. It probably has to be Togekiss. It also has to be Togekiss. You can learn Dazzling Gleam, though. Oh, Salem can learn Dazzling Gleam. Interesting. Um, we'll get rid of Metronome. Probably should have gotten rid of Ancient Power, but whatever. Also, do I evolve right now? Because what's Togetic's moveset? What's Togetic looking like? Oh, are all of these moves that Togekiss can just learn by default? Okay. Yeah, we'll just evolve it now then. We'll just evolve it now. Alright. Get ready, everyone. We're gonna evolve Togetic. Here it comes! Air slash, yes sir. Um, we'll get rid of, okay, here's the thing. I want to have, we'll get rid of double edge for now. Cause I'm not gonna use double edge. Ancient power and yawn still have a use. Okay, so can we learn uh, Calm Mind now? Or Thunderbolt? Wait, what? Togekiss can't learn Thunderbolt? I was right. And it, wait, it can't learn Calm Mind either? What? Bruh. What? Hmm. Yeah, I realize Togekiss can learn Thunder Wave. Ah. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. Why did I why did I go here? This isn't the, the place I wanted to go. I was gonna say, that that would be broken though if Togekiss could learn Thunderbolt. And Calm Mind is an egg move for Togepi. Then why can't it just learn it as a TM? What? That's so stupid. I've never understood that. Never understood that. Okay, well. I know Togekiss can learn some cool moves. Anyways, so. Let's go ahead and do this. Nah, Essentials is just weird about that stuff. Yeah, definitely. Let's go ahead and get Aura Sphere on this thing. Ooh, it can learn Tri Attack. Interesting. What should our final move be? I'm kind of thinking we should keep Yawn, but let's just look through the rest. Yeah, I'm thinking our last move should be Yawn, unless... Hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking Yawn, most likely. The only other two I would consider would be Tri Attack and Extreme Speed, but I think right now, because Togekiss is supposed to be more of a defensive Pokemon, we'll keep it with Yawn. Because we don't really have any status Pokemon anymore. Is there a Nasty Plot TR in the game? I don't believe so. Because I know Lucario learned Nasty Plot through level up. I don't think it can actually learn Nasty Plot, like, actually. Tough. 
Obviously, we'll probably I'll probably have to do some grinding off screen for Togekiss, but hey, that's okay. All right, well we're here, everybody. Are we all ready? We all ready to to take on Suki, bro? I know I am. I know I am. Also, Jin is also kind of underleveled, which I'm not a fan of. Let's get to it. Hello, Jin. The Shogun told me to meet you here. I've heard news about the Yakui's clan's attacks throughout the region. It's terrible what they're doing. To stop them, you must awaken the Katana of Light to its true form, as Ryo did many years ago. For that to happen, you must prove to the Shrines of Aisho that you are pure of heart by praying. Hmm, it looks like you are not ready. I can tell you have not prayed yet prayed at all the Shrines. In order to fully awaken the Katana of Light, you must go and pray? What? Shit. I'm trying to think. Which ones haven't we prayed at yet? I can almost guarantee you we haven't prayed at the water one. Um, but I don't know about the fire one. So, let's try the Hanatsu one first, just in case. I don't know if I've prayed there. Just yet. Why am I going here? That's not the way to go. Well, <laughs> it feels so weird. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we get to hear glorious uh, Mount Cornet music, though. I'm fine with that. I'm always happy to hear Mount Cornet music. Let's go ahead and pray real quick. The Katana of Light glows warmly. Get a little closer to awakening after praying at the Hanatsu Shrine. Your spirit feels relaxed after praying to the shrine. Your Pokemon are fully healed. And the healing charges have been fully restored. Also, why am I not using the speed up button? Why am I not using the speed up button for this? I feel like this is an appropriate time to use the speed up button. Also, we can double check real quick if there's a, nas a nasty plot um, TR in the game, which I don't believe there is. No, there's not. At least not there. I don't know where else it would be. I assume that's where it would probably be. Yeah, let's use another super repel real quick. Bro, can you move? Thank you. I'm honestly a bad Kenshi. I have not been praying at all the shrines. Let's go ahead. And pray. The katana of light glows warmly. The katana of light got a little closer to awakening after praying at the Yuzumi shrine. Your feel, your spirit feels relaxed after praying to the shrine. All right. Um, I can. I really feel like we've already prayed at the grass shrine, but I would assume we would have gotten a different message. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Who knows? Let's just hope and pray. You're still not the worst Kenshi. I literally killed all the shadow Pokemon. I mean, I tried to catch all the shadow Pokemon, but um, it's kind of difficult too. All right, back to Hagane City. All 
Alright. Alright. Let's continue on. Let's go over here. Alright. Cancel the speed up. Let's do this shit. Hopefully, we've actually been at every shrine. I swear to God, I hope I have. Prayed at them. Hmm. It looks like you are ready. I can tell you have been praying at the shrines. Before I allow you to pass through, I must insist on testing your strength once, one last time. If you are to truly become the wielder of the Katana of Light, you must be as strong as Ryo. Let us begin our final test. We are facing our mentor, Sensei Sukiro. Let's do this. Starts with a lichen rock dusk form. All right. A truly honorable Kenshi must never forget their teachings. Now answer me this, Jen. Oh, is this it? Like. We get stat boosts, or they get stat boosts, depending on my answer. This is cool. I like this. Now answer me this, Jin. What is the most important moral code of the Kenshi? The code of honor. Correct. Jin, you must never forget that the codes of honor and Bushido are what guide us. Those in the Akui clan have forgotten this message and have lost their way. It is our purpose as righteous Kenshi to bring them to justice. Kador knowledge? Yes, indeed. Let's go. We have our new... Our newly... Um, busted... Lucario, let's go for a Meteor Mash here. Rock Climb? What are you doing, bro? What was that for? I don't appreciate it. Alright, Polaris is 34. Only 34? Okay. That was a sick animation, what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh, you devved this game! <laughs> Aren't you supposed to know it? <laughs> know this stuff? Alright. Let's go ahead and just click wood hammer. Um, I'm assuming this battle's not gonna be super difficult. But I don't know, who knows. So far, it's been going pretty good. What's up next? Macargo. Huh. And before, like, seven Aqua Tail misses in a row. Oh, you know what I was going to talk about today? I was waiting for more people to join. Now I'm going to talk about this. So I, I have, like, a two-day class Thursday, Friday that I'm teaching. And the place didn't have AC and I like taught like literally in the hood bruh like the this rec center was literally in the hood I swear to god forget a move to learn dig no thank you like this place I was kind of scared there just saying all right sir fetched you see this is where Polaris would come in handy this is where Polaris would come in handy, but right now I think Salem's a good mon. <laughs> Look at him. He's all proper with his... He's like... That's my best uh, shield and sword impression. My COVID vaccine's starting to hit. Oh, did you just get yours today, Lux? Congratulations. Congratulations. Love to see it. Love to see it here. First dose? Oh, first dose? Hopefully you shouldn't get anything more than like a sore arm. I didn't really get anything more than a sore arm. Talonflame. Interesting. Second dose, though, I got literally every side effect. Is the second dose worse? Yes, it's way worse, Lux. Oh yikes. Yeah, are you getting are you getting like chills or fatigue from your first dose? I survive I thought I survived the last of it. No, the second one's way worse. There's a period for about everyone where like 
for a certain 24 hours, you just feel like absolute garbage. Now I'm doing well, my arm sore, but it's not even that bad. Yeah, that's basically what I heard. That's basically what I had. Um, but yeah, I got... If you see, like, the charts of, like, side effects and, like, the percentages, I think I got almost all of them. Like, not a lot of people get vomit, but I did. So, you know. Excellent work, Jin. You are truly worthy of wielding the Katana of Light. Go on. Pray at this final shrine and seize your destiny. I'm pretty sure I've already prayed here, but okay. I pray to the shrine. The Katana of Light is starting to flash brightly. The Katana of Light has done something with its pure form. The Katana of Light can now purify hearts of Shadow Pokemon. When their heart gauge is empty, sweet. It can also now banish the Shadow Fog in Nagisa Bay. Oh? Well done, Jin. Seeing you standing there with a Katana of Light in hand. You, re you remind me so much of your father. Now you must go back to Ezo Village and then banish the fog in Nagisa Bay. Only then will you be able to reach Yami Island the home of the Akui clan. I will be waiting for you in Nagisa Bay, Jin. Please do not keep me waiting. Well, you heard the man. Chapter 5, Home of the Shadows. Is this the final chapter? I don't remember seeing, I don't remember how many chapters there are. I believe we also still have the repel up all right we're back in Ezo village do we have to heal up our Pokemon yeah we should probably heal up our Pokemon I would assume we heal up our Pokemon right here there are seven including post game there's a post game bruh this is a jam game jam games aren't supposed to have post game Although I'm sure you added it. Yes, let me rest. I love how the Summer Jam starts in two weeks. Dude. And you're out here playing a Winter Jam game? Dude, I've got so many more Winter Jam games to play. You have no idea. I, I'm so glad I'm not head devving a game for this Summer Jam. Because you already know. You already know. <laughs> We're going to be playing freaking... We're going to be playing shit literally in August, right before the game jam ends. <laughs> Take care now. Sweet. Doesn't help that Bushido takes me like three weeks alone. I dropped out of head deving to focus on Elysium. I've offered my service to whoever wants my assistance. That's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, hey, I've got a job, but I want to help. I want to contribute to something, even if it's just beta testing. I'll do that. I want to. I want to spread out and work with other people as well. Because as much as working, I've worked with Falcon for forever, and I want to work with other people. I'd definitely be down to work with Haunted Ditto again. I'd be down to work with basically anybody as long as they're not a dick. I'll only be play testing this time as well. Hey yo, all of the big names dropping out: Lux and Zafra. No jam games? Uh-oh. You better have a wide open. Wide open jam. Watch me drop a game bigger than Bushido. No cap. I'm a big name? You are the dev of Bushido. Lux, you're now a big name. I don't know. I'm not the dev of Bushido. Uh, you basically are, bruh. Weren't you and Thunda- The way that I've kind of felt how it is based on what I've seen from the outside is that you and Thundaga were basically the head devs and then Tristan Teen and Haunted Art were like kind of on a lower level. But maybe I'm wrong. All right, let's continue on. Yeah, I mean, it's me and Cam were both the devs of Bushido. Yeah, exactly. I told you, Lux. Oh, hello there. Hello there, young Kenshi. Oh, wait. I can teach special and powerful moves from the Galarian Isle of Armor to your Pokemon if they are 
Ready, it will cost five Phenazium orbs. Okay. Oh my god, this is the NPC I never fixed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, it's a good thing I don't even have that much Phenazium ore anyways. Fun bug. She doesn't take the ores. Ah, well. You must use the katana of... So it's basically free? Oh, wait. You must use the katana of light to banish the fog blocking the way to Yami Island. Once you do that, I will prepare to meet you there. So, Lux... Because I'd rather not do the mining game unless I absolutely have to. What? <laughs> what is, uh... What moves? Tell me the moves. I would like to know. It's all of the Galarian ones. Just look up Isle of Armor Move Tutor. I see. Why am I looking this into... Of course, it would be like almost every... Huh. What the fuck are any of these moves? These are all new moves. Holy shit, I haven't even known any of these. Okay. Steel Roller. The user attacks will destroy the terrain. This move fails when the ground hasn't turned into a terrain. Useless. Um, Meteor Beam. Two turn attack. No. Misty Explosion. The user attacks everything around it and faints upon using this move. Rising. Okay. Hmm. Skitter Smack. Ayo. Burning Jealousy. The user attacks with an... Okay. Lash Out. Hmm. Oh, I can see how Lash Out is kind of busted. Poltergeist? The user attacks the target by controlling the target's item. The move failed as the target doesn't have an item. Okay. Uh. I don't really feel like any of these are any of those are useful sorry about it let's go ahead and use a super repel and continue on Ooh. the fog is too deep to progress use the katana of light to remove the fog yes sir ba channel its power to banish the shadowy fog yeah the fog disappeared clearing the way forward Sweet. Easy. Okay. What am I doing? I think I kind of want to have Jin up front so we can at least have it catch up maybe a little bit. This might be a mistake. Yami Pop Pass. Excuse me. We just got an Electros chilling here. Okay. Well, if I knew, I could just... Oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? Nobody is supposed to be able to come near Yami Island. You have to turn back now. Time for me to take you out. Yeah, Yami passed us some great mons. Yeah, I might have to drop Togekiss for this. Because Electros is a Pokemon I would definitely consider adding. But we do, we don't get the, um, we don't get the, the special defense with Electros, I don't think. The Kui clan never falters. Take this. Toxic spikes. As good as Bushido is, thanks to Broskido, I'm pretty confident that my current project is going to be way better. Which is definitely saying something, considering how much I love Bushido. Hey, considering how Bushido is a fan favorite, that's a big deal. But also, Lux, that means you're setting expectations. By you telling this to me, you are setting my expectations. Also, you know what I just noticed? My party's ratio is awful. My party's ratio is is utter garbage. <laughs> I just noticed that. There's a Pokemon I... 
here I drop Garchomp for it. There's a point I drop Garchomp for if I didn't have Lucario. I see. Our ratio is um, literally awful. Takedown? Nah, I'm good without. Take this close combat, buddy. Man, I just remembered when I first played Parallax. When you first played Parallax, I was so excited because you're the first one to play it on YouTube. Hey, Lux, at least someone played your first game on YouTube. I'm pretty sure no one has played Pulse Order on YouTube. It was so exhilarating. Yeah. Dude, Thundaga, Thundaga is still the only person to play Hunter and Raymond and is the only person to play Ancient Leaves on YouTube. Which is crazy. Dang, Parallax is almost a year old. Yeah. Crocodile. Let's go into Mike MC9 here. That's crazy, though. A Shadow Crocodile? Oh, wait. We already have a Shadow Croc Croc. I don't know why I'm just geeking out at that shit. Dang, Lux is almost a year old now. <laughs> it gets better. Kate, I found... I just found a playthrough of False Order on YouTube. The game. Oh, wait! Never mind! Someone did do a playthrough of False Order. I forget about that. Yeah, they hated that game. I mean, they played like a half hour into it or some shit, and they were like, yeah, this game sucks. I'm not playing the rest of it. I don't remember. I remember, um... Actually, I remember, because nobody played, obviously Thundaga played my game Ancient Leaves on stream, but actually, now that you say that, Ethy played False Order on his stream, or their stream. I don't know what pronouns they prefer to use, um, but, and then they messaged me on Discord, and they were like, man, some... Fan games suck nowadays. Yeah. And Ethy was like, yeah, your fan game's actually really good. This is bad. I need to alert the boss that the trespasser is coming. Oh, that probably wasn't the best idea to do now, was it? 